Hey guys, as we have a couple of new modelists now and the maps are being integrated, uh, I thought it was a good time to update this tutorial on how to unsubscribe from all the mods that you don't need, tidy up your mod lists, and just have um, what you need. Uh, right now, if I look at my armor uh, local files, I've got 106 gigabytes uh, on my drive of files. Uh, most of that is uh, mods, obviously. Um, so I want to tidy those up, um, download the ones that we new, do need now, the modern universal ones with the maps and try to clean out a lot of stuff that I don't need anymore. So first thing I'm going to do is decide what I want to keep um, because obviously apart from the uh, TFA mods, uh, there's some other stuff that I need for uh, projects that I'm working on, uh, beta testing stuff, uh, faction building, retexture projects. Uh, so any of that kind of stuff you would want to keep. And also I suggest making a list of your client side mods that you want to use uh, along with the standard modern universal mod list. Uh, you have to include CBA on three on that list because pretty much everything else depends on that. And then I've got all my like um, JSR is sound mods, uh, which means I have to have RHS mods in there because they're dependencies. Uh, but they're also, those are going to be loaded from the modern universal mod list anyway. Um, so it's basically stuff that like uh, enhanced soundscape, sound mods, and stuff that I use for Zeusing and for mission building. So Eden editor stuff as well. So we can have a quick search. So these things here I want to keep because these are used when I'm doing mission building. So I'm going to load those now into this list. And come trans course or so load selected. Okay. And then I also want to keep any use mods that I've been using. So um I'm gonna take all those, add those to this client side mod list. Uh, yes, another dependency, so load selected. So now I'm gonna save that. So TFA client side. So once you've um, got all the mods saved that you want to keep, um, then what you can do is, let's just make sure we've loaded it up. Load an empty one up first. So we've got no mods loaded now, 151 mods total. I'm going to load my uh, TFA client side mods list. And then what I'm going to do is export list of mods to a file. Only loaded mods. And that's going to be called the same thing again. Uh, TFA client side. So that's my personal list of mods that I want to keep uh, separate to the TFA modern universal mod list. And what I'm also going to do is obviously anything that I need to keep. Um, let's load this one. And basically just go through your list of mods, anything like if you're playing anti-stasi or for you losers who play with like any other groups uh, with lesser mod lists, then you might have a different mod list in here that you want, want to save as well. So basically just go through, choose anything that you want to keep and save that as an export mod. So basically export everything that you need. Okay, so once that is done, then the next step is to basically unsubscribe from everything. So what's going to happen now is you're going to click on more. You're going to select unsubscribe all Steam Workshop mods. And that will basically unsubscribe everything that you've got in your mods list here. So with me, it'll be 151 mods that will be uh, unsubscribed. Uh, but what will happen is they will stay on your computer. Uh, they will not be deleted. Uh, they will stay here until you exit Armour. So what we're going to do is we're going to unsubscribe from all these Steam Workshop mods. Unsubscribe all mods. And then we're going to basically reload all the ones that we actually decide that we want to keep. So it's going through now, unsubscribing me from everything. Uh, it's kept a couple in here because these have probably got loaded as local mods, um, 
That's why there's no Steam Workshop image here because I've got these loaded as local mods. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that because I don't need that. And I'm going to get rid of that because I don't need that. Okay, so now we're basically back to scratch. What you can do now if you want is you can go through and start deleting all of these here. Uh, anything that you don't need, go through and delete them all. And I'm not going to do all of these now. I'm going to skip ahead um, to an empty page. Okay, so there we are. So now I have deleted pretty much every single um, mod list that I had in here. So we are starting with a complete blank. Uh, it's very important that you do not exit um, armor at this stage uh, because if you do, um, you're going to lose everything. You're going to have to re-download everything because it will delete everything that's not loaded from your uh, mods list from your computer. So next thing we need to do is to basically go to uh, mods list um, in the uh, TFA Discord, and you'll see that we now have these two mod lists here. One is uh, what's it called? Modern mod list with all of the maps, and we have a modern mod list without any maps. This one is basically a space saver for anyone who doesn't have a lot of space left on their computer, but like me. Um, and this one is for anybody who's got plenty of space and just wants the uh, ease of not having to re-download a map. Uh, so what will basically happen from now on is every time we change a map on a mission, uh, we will be putting up a notification of what map we'll be using. So you'll always have the Modern Universal mods loaded, but without any maps. And what you will do is then for each mission, you will load one map and delete any old ones. And that will keep your computer space free. Uh, of any extras if you've got if you've got a little bit of extra space then you don't need to do any of that because all of the maps will be loaded uh, we may occasionally add an extra map because as you know armor is always evolving there's new stuff being released all the time and some of it uh, is pretty phenomenal so we might be adding extra maps as and when needed but all of the base maps are in this mod here so i'm going to download that one now And I'm going to save that in my new folder, which is Modern Universal Mods. And I save that there. And I'm also going to download this one just for the hell of it, which is the one without all the maps, and save that one in there as well. Okay, and then we're also uh, you can import any other mods list that you've got uh, stuck somewhere on your computer. But for now, those are downloaded, so what we can now do is the next step is to reload those mods. So what we're going to do is import list of mods from a file. So what we'll go with first is let's say my client side mods. And these are all still on my computer because I haven't deleted them yet. So if I hit subscribe now, what it will do is it'll basically just load them back into this uh, area here. Uh, there we go. 32 mods loaded. So I'll get rid of that. Okay, so I will repeat that again. Import list of mods from file. I'm going to go with the universal with DLC maps. And that's basically the modern universal mods list there. So now it will basically resubscribe to all of those. 41 mods added. And then I'm going to repeat that again, import list of mods from file, this time with the tested maps version. And these are pretty much all the maps. So everything that wasn't in that last um, mods list is now here. So these are all the maps that we will have in our list. So subscribe to that. This might take a little bit longer because it, for some reason, seems to take a little bit more time to load some of the maps. But no, it hasn't loaded them all straight away. Uh, 15 maps loaded. Let's get rid of that. And that's it. It's all done now. So what I can now do is have a look over here. We've got Modern Universal, Modern Universal Tested. Uh, it's also loaded my other mods list. The other way that you can do it, apart instead of using the import list of mods from a file, 
is you can just click on the button here, go down to import, and then and then what what it will do is it won't name it. It will just give it this name, imported preset, uh, which is why it's a better idea to use the import of list of list, list of mods from a file because this will actually name it the same way as the file is named. Another difference between the two methods of importing, either importing list of mods from a file or uh, importing direct from the uh, sidebar, is that if you use this method, import list of mods from a file, and you try to load something, you might get this message. We didn't find any new mods to subscribe because you already got them all subscribed, so it won't actually import that mod list, so you'll get nothing at all. It will just end there. Uh, whereas if you use this method, import, this will force import it. So if you choose the same one again, Denland Mission CFP. Actually, I'm going to just copy that so I don't have to type it out. Uh, then open it. Same message as usual, imported preset, it will save it as. Uh, so it's now force loaded all of those and they are all in here. So now I can save that as, paste that name I just copied, and we are done. So um, if you don't mind the extra step of actually renaming your files, then it's best to use this import method here. So what is now loaded um, in here, everything is marked as updated, uh, is all of the mods from the Modern Universal plus all of the maps from Modern Universal. What I'm going to do now is import a couple of other uh, mods lists that are specific to my needs. Uh, but if you are just playing with TFA and you're not using anything else, then you're pretty much done now. You've got everything that you need in there. Um, what you'd now do is exit armor. And when you come back in, all these updated notes will be gone. Uh, it will delete all the extra mods uh, from your hard disk that you don't need uh, and keep all the ones that you do need. Okay, so if I now restart armor, having exited after doing all those mods, updates. It should load in only with the mods that we subscribe to via the mods list that we created and everything is no longer marked as refreshed. So everything should be in there now. So if we go to, for instance, uh, Modern Universal DLC maps, then we've got our full Modern Universal mod list uh, with tested maps. That's 49 mods at the moment with the tested maps version. 63 mods including all the maps okay and let me just have a quick look at so this is the files that i had in the steam workshop uh, prior to this pro um, process so i had a uh, 154.2 gigabytes of mods uh, for armor and in the post cleanup, I've gone all the way down to 71.1 gigabytes of mods. And that's including all the TFA uh, certified maps. Uh, so if you decide to load the one that doesn't have the maps in, you'll be even less than that, probably about around, I would imagine, about 60 gigabytes or maybe even less a little bit. So that's complete now. If you've got any questions about that, then just uh, send me a quick message. I'll be happy to help. Uh, otherwise, just follow the process along. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you like it, subscribe and a like, uh, always appreciated.